Okay, so we have our characters right here. We have a character. We have an actor uh, that we brought in. Uh, now, the character here is not going to do anything unless you actually uh, initialize it. Uh, there's multiple things you need to do. You need to go into the characters um, menu right here, grab the character right here, not actor, and left click, drop it on the mesh, and say characterize it. The character pro uh, characterization process could not be completed because some requires nodes are missing, blah, blah, blah. That's what we were talking about earlier, you guys, okay? So don't worry. We click OK, and you see it tells you those that are missing. All right, and it's no big deal. We're going to redo them and put them, and it might be because the naming convention is different, okay? But that's not a huge deal. Uh, we basically need to look at which one, and um, Marcus said it right here. Um, let me make that bigger so we can see better. Um, marker set. Oops, no, sorry. Uh, that was already done. What am I doing? There you go. Um, let me delete that one. I don't need it. There you go. Okay, now in the character, okay, we're good here. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, right here. In the character definition right here, you need to go, there's tons of things you can add. Okay, but you need to have the base that is required, okay? So, what you do is that, first of all, you're not going to show your, uh, go to the actor and show all, take it out so it doesn't bother you. Go back to the character, all right? And you need to basically figure out all those, select the mesh, and make the mesh uh, not visible in the display. You go into hide selected. Uh, okay, that's all right. Uh, I probably did hide on selected. That's probably why. Right here. Okay. Uh, so hold on now because I'm missing all of them now. Right here. Okay. In that character, I want to show all his stuff. Okay, so, okay, we're good. Okay, now we need to select the bones of that mesh. So just that mesh needs to disappear. All right, and we need to basically, uh, that would be nice to have the TRC also disappear. So it's called the optical. I don't know if I can, I mean, I can hide it, but you want to, we want to be very careful with that. only one I want to select. Right. Okay, and you want to basically get the bones, and you can see the name right here, left shoulder. So the hips, for example. You want to select the hips. That's the hips one, and that might be one of the reasons, because it was called one behind it, so you don't recognize that. And basically, the same thing that you did earlier, you click on Alt, and you drop it on the hips right here. Okay? So after that, you go for left leg. Left leg. See, it's named exactly the same. Left, up, leg. 
and he doesn't recognize it, it's just like that. And you drop it on a hair. And then you go right here, drop it here. Right there, drop it here. All right, and left leg, right leg, I mean, up. The other one right here. Right down. Okay? Now you can keep going. Need spine. Spine one, that might be the reason why it's not properly. You need left arm. Left arm is properly named, so it should have worked. Left forearm arm, so that's the other one right here left hand. Now we're doing the same thing with the right hand and the right arm, obviously. Right here, right up forward, and right hand. Let me see that. Right here. Now what else do we have? We need obviously the head. Right here, right there. Okay, we can show it all again. Oh, that's right, it's on show on selected, on a hide, show, show on selected. There you go. Now, what you want to do now is basically characterize that rig. So you click on characterize it. And it asks you, uh, actually, that one needs to be uh, faced on the Z direction, just like it's better. You don't have to, uh, but that would be a little bit smarter to do that. Um, well, actually, we can leave it like that. It's not a big deal. It should still work. Let's characterize it. It is a biped. It asks you biped or quadruped, so you characterize that. All right. And after that, you want to, you know, you want to create a control rig. And FKIK, you know, and you can activate that now to see, it, you know, and you can select it and select some stuff to see if you can do things with it. See, it works. And now, and what we want is going to the character setting now and going to control rig input right here and select actor. All right, you guys. Uh, see, just a second right here. Let me.